we start with one hour chart. Just I want to give a quick update. First of all, if you refer to my last analysis, we have been looking for buy, and this is what we get. And after that, we get an update since the price was within this correction. We mentioned how we can look for buy. One of the options was to put a warning tree at the top, which is 0 0.206, or we will look for the flag. Both of them get the same, almost same points. And we mentioned if we get any trade setup, we need to see the breakout of 0 0.21. And this is what we get. And right now, for those traders, they get the trade. At least they need to move their stop loss somewhere around 0 0.21. Maybe they put below this correction. For those traders, they get a trade within this one. Either move their stop loss to break even or put their stop loss somewhere below this. All right. And no one, what we need to see based on one hour chart, we need to see the breakout of the 23 cents. We need to see whether the price can break 23 or not. Anyway, we move to higher time frame. We want to see what we have. We are looking for. Based on higher time frame, based on daily chart, we have been looking for the reversal. No one see whether this is the start of the reversal or not. Or we can expect this one turn to a deep correction. We explain about this, but more, I mean, my last analysis, but mostly we are more interested to look for the reversal. And as we mentioned, we need to see the breakout of the 23 cent because if the price couldn't break the 23 cent, we can expect this one turn to a correction relative to this for one more drop. That means we will be within this down move for longer term. That's why. We mentioned if we get any trade setup for buy, we need to see the breakout of the 23. If with the breakout of the 23, then we need to look to for the breakout of the 26 following by 27. This zone is quite important for us because the 26 will be the top of this one and the 27 will be the lowest price of this correction. We need to see the breakout of this correction. Then the next one we're looking for is 30. That means that the first, we want to see whether the price can break a little 23 cents or not. And after that, we look for the 26. All right. Anyway, right now, for those traders, they get the trade within this one. At least they should know how to manage it in case the price reject to break the 23 cents. Because if there is a rejection, then this one can turn to a correction and we can be within this down move. Because we explained in my last analysis that based on a daily chart, we don't see the divergence yet. Okay, and how about if we move to forward one hour chart? Still, we can look for continuation, but if we want to look for trade, we can look for the flag. We should know that if we want to look for trade, we need to see the breakout of the 23. If the price couldn't break the 23 cent, then we should know how to manage our trades. Okay, but at this time, we cannot simply buy. And for those traders, they get the trade within this one, at least they should know how to manage it or move their stop loss to break even or even book some profit. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.